everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review. Today we're going to be doing another figure review. Whoa! Two figure reviews in one month? It's almost like the good old days when I was doing a figure review every week. Yeah, you know, picking up that new 52 Batman figure it kind of restarted, reignited my interest in picking up figures. So, if I see a figure from time to time that I want, that I think is good, that I like, then I'll go and pick it up. I mean, money is still tight, but if I see something and I like it, I'm going to get it. And I saw something that I like and I got. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the Series 5 Green Lantern series. Green Lantern Sinestro. I didn't want to say Green Lantern, Green Lantern, Sinestro. That might sound silly and confusing. But yeah, we're going to talk about the Green Lantern Sinestro figure. Uh, now, th this is part of Series 5. If you check on the back, uh, there's are the other characters you can get, too. Uh, apparently, Guy Gardner and our blue elephant friend, Rath or Roth or... Yeah, something like that. Uh, they're the rarest, and my comic store did have both, but I decided, you know, I need the Sinestro. Uh, so yeah, I went to get the Sinestro, and as you can see, it's designed in the New 52 format, at least with the costume. It's completely New 52 Um I guess a lot of people didn't know this, but the Green Lantern line kind of just continue to transition to the new 52. Because if you really think of it, none of their costumes really change that much. I mean, Hal had some kind of stylized design on his shoulders. Um, I don't think there was any change with Guy or Kyle or John. If there was, it was so minor. But, uh, I mean, they're, again, they're continuing the line even with new 52 characters. Even some of the more uh, different colored land decors, such as the red, star sapphire, yellow, so on and so forth, they don't change that much, so you really don't have to change the lineup that much. So I really wanted Sinestro for this line, so let's open him up and see exactly how good he is. And while I'm opening him up, I might as well give you guys a little information about Sinestro if you know nothing about him. If not that, then something to just, you know, hold your interest while I open up the figure. So, Sinestro. Yes, Green Lantern. One of the best, if not the best, arguably. I mean, when you talk about the best Green Lanterns, you talk about Sinestro, Abin Sor, and Hal Jordan. Uh, and Kyle Rayner kind of gets thrown in that discussion sometimes, too. Uh, but Sinestro, you know, despite how good he was, he became a dictator on his planet. And for some reason, the Green Lanterns never found this out or never cared about it. The Guardians, at least. And, you know, Sinestro was stripped of his ring and he was, you know, banished away and defeated by Hal Jordan. Into the trash that goes. Uh, but uh, defeated by Hal Jordan and he was sent to the Antimatter Universe. And in the Antimatter Universe, he constructed a yellow ring, which was based off of fear. Uh, he fought Hal a few times, got his neck snapped, brought back to life, and eventually he creates the Sinestro Core, which is the Yellow Ring Core, which I think is just going to be called the Yellow Lanterns now that Sinestro is no longer part of it. Uh, and the Sinestro Core ran off of fear. So Sinestro rages his war for, you know, complete peace in the world, to, you know, make sure that there's no evil going around using fear as a means. Because you have to understand that Sinestro is a... He, he has good intentions. He just has... He'll, he'll use whatever means possible to do so. He's very Machiavellian in that. So, uh, Sinestro created the Yellow Lanterns. Uh, however, in the recent um, War of the Green Lantern story arc... Um, he is given a Green Lantern ring due to the the outcome of the story with Mogo and all that jazz, and he gets Hal's ring. I believe it's Hal's ring. Uh, I have not read War of the Green Lanterns. That's the only Green Lantern trade that I have not read. Uh, so he does get Hal's ring, and now he is teaming up with Hal to uh, well do a lot of things. First was to fight the Sinestros, uh, the Sinestro Corps, to stop them from invading. Guy, uh, to stop them from invading Sinestro's homeworld. Sorry, this is making so much noise. Uh, and second, to take on the Indigo tribe and get the Book of Black back. That kind of that kind of sounds good. The Book of Black back. Uh, so him and Hal are kind of teaming up together right now. And that's basically the gist of Sinestro, without getting into too too much details. Uh, when it comes down to powers and abilities, Sinestro wields the both the yellow 
green, and also the white power rings. And he is one of, if not the best at wielding them. He can create constructs better than any of the Earth-based Green Lanterns. Um, you could say his willpower is almost as strong as, say, Abensor and uh, Hal Jordan. Uh, Hal Jordan may not be as quite as skilled at uh, ring slinging, they call it, but uh, he has more willpower than Sinestro. But uh, Sinestro is he's definitely a force to be reckoned with when it comes down to being a Green Lantern. Or being a Yellow Lantern or a White Lantern. Um, although he was only a White Lantern briefly, so it really shouldn't count. Um, outside of those powers and abilities, Sinestro is an incredibly smart uh, individual. A excellent tactician. Um, he can get the job done when it needs to be done. Great strategist. He, he ruled a planet. Granted, it was a dictatorship, but he still ruled a planet. Um, Sinestro is an incredibly smart individual. Uh, and even without its ring, he's skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, I wouldn't want to say probably around advanced military training, if I had to take a guess. Uh, we don't see Sinestro without a ring that much, but when he is without a ring, he can hold his own. So with that said, let's actually talk about the figure itself. And again, this is first impressions that I'm getting. So uh, first, before the figure, Sinestro does come with a Green Lantern base. And does come with his Green Lantern. Uh, we'll see how that fits in the hand in a moment. Uh, and here is Thal Sinestro as a Green Lantern. Now, first thing that stands out to me, actually, there's two things that stand out: is one, the level detail of this figure, uh, and two, the actual metallic coat that is on the green paint. Uh, really stands out, and that's kind of a theme that they do with the Green Lantern figures from the Green Lantern line. Uh, they don't do it with the DC Universe Classics figures, except for that one uh, special Toys R Us exclusive figure, which I had to pull out my Green Lantern figures because I'm going to be setting them back up. I'm slowly starting to set up back uh, my DC figures. As you can see, Wonder Woman is slowly coming back up. Batman never left. Batman never leaves. Uh, but yeah. Really, the, the paint job on this is very nice. And as you can see, the detail just in the lines in the costume is really good. And the face is very nicely detailed, too. Uh, let me just check close up. Um, his eyes are actually green. Um, I thought that was going to be the case. Whenever Sinestro is wearing a ring, his eyes always correspond with that ring's color. So if you have the Sinestro core Sinestro from uh, the DC Universe Classics, he has the yellow eyes. I think the only Sinestro that doesn't have any particular eye pigment is the uh, original Sinestro costume. Uh, but yeah, he has green eyes, which is a very nice little add feature. Uh, let's talk about articulation. Uh, his legs can go up about yay far and bend at the knee. Um, his arms can go out, go all the way around, bend at the elbow, move at the wrist, and he has a pretty good range of articulation in his arms. Uh, no waist or abdomen articulation, however, he has full range of motion in his head, and he can kind of do that exorcist spin around that's just so sexy when Sinestro does it. Yeah, and some of you may not know, but Sinestro won uh, Sexiest Green Lantern of the Year five years in a row. Uh, Kilowog kind of dethroned him. Kilowog continues to win it, but uh, Sinestro definitely won Sexiest Green Lantern of the Year. What I particularly like about this figure is how the, if you look at the Green Lantern symbol on his chest, how it's raised up. I really do like that with the Green Lantern costumes. I don't like it to just be spandex. I like the actual raising of the symbol. It just stands out very nicely. And if you look here, uh, he has the Green Lantern ring, which is kind of detailed. It isn't overwhelmingly detailed. You can't see a Green Lantern symbol, but it is raised. It's more than just a blotch of paint. And let's see how well he holds this power battery. Again, it's been a while since I did a figure review. I kind of like doing it live. Doing it live. So let me know what you guys like. Do you want me to do it live or do you want me to sit around and play with the figure a bit and kind of get a feel of it beforehand? Um, like with all power batteries, it's giving me a hard time because it does, you know, the handle comes off. But there is him holding the power battery. He can hold it pretty well. He looks pretty badass doing it because he's Sinestro. So on a whole, how I feel about this figure, being that it is actually the second new 52 figure that I got, uh, 
I probably am going to be a bit biased towards this figure because I am a big Sinestro fan. But, you know, there's been a lot of bad Sinestro figures too, which I have picked up. Uh, there have been bad Sinestro figures. And I have to say, this is actually one of my uh, favorite Sinestro figures. The figure just stands out and looks really good. Um, from the paint job, to the sculpt itself, even to the level of articulation it has. For a DC Direct figure, it has more articulation than other figures usually do. Um, oh, and speaking of articulation, you can move out the calf muscles. Hey, you learn something new every day. Um, and apparently that's what I learned today, so nothing else I'm going to learn. Uh, but yeah, you know, it has a good range of articulation, and it's just a very well-sculpted figure. It makes me want to pick up more Green Lantern figures, but the problem is, is, well, money. I'm not rich. Um, it kind of made me wish I could pick up a lot of the other cores. I think the only other Lantern I will pick up from another core, uh, or corpse, or whatever you want to call it. I'm used to saying core, and people will shun me for it, but, uh, I want, Sc uh, St. Walker, and I want Atrocitus, but Atrocitus is apparently rare as all hell. But... Yeah, on a whole, this figure looks really stunning. It really is a good-looking figure, and I do recommend people pick it up. I will give it a 9 out of 10. Um, Near-perfect figure. Near-perfect. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I just don't like the hand positions. They kind of look a little silly. I want my Sinestro to have his ring like this and his power battery in his hand like so. Let me see if I can kind of get into the pose. And you can kind of do it, but it doesn't look quite as good as, uh, say, on some of my other GL figures. But let's put that there. I want my Sinestro to be badass posed like that. And with his hands open, it just looks a little silly. Uh, but besides that, I mean, it's still a really good figure. Uh, the battery annoys me a little. Look at it. It spins. There you go. Get your Sinestro figure with his own battery-spinning special attack. Yeah, he just walks out to people and goes, Ah! But uh, it, it's still a great figure, and I'm really happy I got it. You can get it for, I would say, in comic stores, and even at stuff like Newberry Comics, you can get it for probably $17 to $20. And it's worth the price, because like I said, it stands out, it has a good paint job, and it just looks really good. So, Sinestro, great figure, uh, definitely worth picking up. This is Andrew saying, peace out for now.